Your typical desktop would have a static image as the wallpaper or the background, but let's face it, this gets boring after a while. So along comes dynamic content. Most people would go into the start, go into Microsoft Store. Once you're here, do a quick search for desktop live wallpaper. Once this comes up on your screen, download a particular application that you might want to use. Just bear in mind, a lot of these, although they're marked as free, they are limited. In other words, they'll only play certain media types or they're not the easiest to use or they only give you certain things that you can do. So I'm not a particular fan of that. Plus, if you need to use other formats, they demand a fee from you. Let's have a look at a different option. If you've ever used a program called VLC Media Player, which I use all the time, go to videoland.org slash VLC and download the media player. This is a great utility. Every computer should come with this by default anyway, because it plays every media format. Once you've downloaded it, run the program. There's a couple of quick changes we need to make to do what I'm going to show you. Click on Tools, Preferences, Video at the top, and then change this option at the bottom to show settings and must be selected all. Scroll down to the bottom and under the video section, you'll see output modules. The video output module, you wanna change this to, let's have a look which is the right one, DirectX, Direct Draw. That's the one that we want right there. Save the setting. Now here's where this gets really interesting. You can use this to play any video on your background. What I normally like to do is, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that are extended videos like seven hours or longer that are nature scenes or other kinds of videos like along those lines. So let's have a look. As you can see, these particular ones, the 4K videos that extend 11 hours, three hours, nine hours, all you have to do on any one of these videos is highlight it or click on it and get the link. So we'll copy the link here. Now in VLC Media Player, what we're gonna do is under Media, we are going to, oops, open a network stream. And the network stream, just paste in your YouTube link. And we are going to play it. Right click on this once it starts up here. and we're gonna set as your wallpaper. So there we have your video set as your wallpaper. You can still use your video, your computer as normal, but you may have to just press your space bar to bring up the start menu. And whatever you're doing on your computer, you can just carry on as normal. Now, one of the reasons why I like this method more is because, have a look at this, right click on the taskbar and bring up the task manager. Sort it by CPU use. And you'll see the VLC media player typically takes, depending on your computer, between two to 4% CPU, which is not that big. Already, the next option that we have here, let me just close VLC media player down. The next option that I really like, and a lot of people are using this one, is downloading a piece of software from GitHub called Repaper. So once you're here, scroll down until to the download section, and here you'll see repaper.zip. Download this file, save it onto your hard drive. Typically, it'll go into your downloads folder. And I've already unzipped it here. The reason I like this program is it doesn't require an installation or anything along those lines. You simply run the program. Let's close off the window. Okay, as you can see, I've already set a particular background on my computer. Now, at the bottom, here's your repaper utility. Right click on this and go into settings. You do have the option in this to use a clock. You can view the weather. Um, a nice feature of it is if you are viewing the weather, say for example, we're gonna view, uh, view, let's change Vancouver here. We'll change it to Toronto in Canada. Now you can see the background suddenly became faded out and it looks like it's snowing. And indeed it is in Toronto, it's currently snowing. So if we wanna change this again, 
go back into the settings and we'll change this to Vancouver and in Vancouver it's not snowing or raining so you just get the video that you've set as the background and how I set the video as a background was I chose if you right click on the utility repaper choose wallpaper and you, you'll see that I've downloaded a couple of videos right here so select a particular video that you have I'm just going to copy this link to show you where I got some of these videos from because they are free. I, I prefer using options that are free, but I also like giving credit where due. So mylivewallpapers.com is a really great website to access where you can search for nature scenes or other things that may suit your need. Simply look for them in here, whatever style that you want. Say, for example, you wanted cities. Any one of these you can go into, download it onto your computer, and then you can set that as your wallpaper. Let's say, for example, we want to download that guy. Okay, so we'll go back into Repaper. We're going to choose our wallpaper, and I just left it in my downloads folder at the moment. So we'll choose that particular one. So whichever one you want, you can go onto their website and you can download it. This will play a lot of different media formats as well. But here's where the downside to Repaper comes in. If we bring up the Task Manager again, bear in mind, VLC Media Player was about 3% CPU use. Now you look at this one, it's 15%, 14 to 15% on average. The, the advantage to this one is you can still see all your desktop icons, your taskbar stays at the bottom, and it doesn't take over your screen. So really it comes down to what you prefer, which style you like, and what you want as your background. Personally, like I say, I prefer the VLC media option and playing one of those nice long videos for when I just want to use my computer to look at something moving in the background. Or you have customers coming in and you want to impress them with your knowledge of computers. Hopefully this has been entertaining for you. If it is, please take a second just to give us a thumbs up at the bottom and have a great day.